Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new Android Studio tutorial and today in this video I will show you that how to integrate AdMob ads into your Android app. So today what we are going to do is that first we are going to just create a add units inside the AdMob website and secondly we are going to add the banner ad into the Android app. So in case of the AdMob ads we have two different ads one is AdMob banner ad and the second one is AdMob industrial ad. So the AdMob banner uh, is something like that you have seen right now on the screen and the AdMob industrial ad is something that you've seen by the second one. So before getting to the Android Studio we have to just go to the browser and all we have to do is inside the Google you have to simply search for AdMob. Now search for that and from here all you have to do is just click on the apps.admob then sign up. Maybe you will have the sign up or you can also select this one which is google.com slash admob. I'm going, to, I'm going to select the first one. So if you are a AdSense publisher like if you're just if you're just displaying the ads on your website or if you're displaying the ads on YouTube and just making revenue from that then you then you can use the same email id to just open a new admob account which i use it to just show tutorials before this one so what i'm going to do is in my case i'm just going to sign up and if you're new to the adsense publisher program then you can just sign up i'm going to just signing in because i already have an account so it's redirecting so I al so I already signed it into my Google account so it automatically signing me in. So in my case I'm using the AdMob beta version which is a kind of different from the ad normal AdMob homepage. So if you don't have something like this don't, don't worry everything is same as what we are going to do. So in most in case I, I guess that a normal AdMob website has the ability to switch from the normal into this beta version so if you find any buttons like that then simply press that and hit a play so once you are in the ad mob all you have to do is simply move to this right side so before getting started i just want to say that how ad mob actually work so there are two ways that you can just make money from your ads so the first one is going to be when the user press on the ad and just visit the website or just 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 what we say just visit the app is shown in the in this banner or the industrial ad so if a user click on the ad then you will be getting a just just simple percentage of the revenue that might be just around in case of india you will be getting around 0.03 dollars for a single click but in case of us uk and some other countries then you will be getting a high amount which is actually called a CPC that is cost per click so AdSense is here internet ads ad serving program which is actually working on CPC that is cost per click so you will get paid when a user click on the ad so that is the one of the way that you can make money from your Android app using the ads so the second one is going to be when the ad is shown a thousand times inside your app so even so if all the users just what we say just skip all the ads like that they didn't just click on that and they never visit her at that point also you can make money but it is going to be like if your android app has more than just what we say thousand users per uh, each day that is active users so if you have more than thousand users per day then you will be getting one dollar for that so for just an inspiration i will show you my report that i just made the money from the adsense for a small amount of time which i didn't actually use the adsense so right now you can see everything is zero that is last seven days i'm going to switch it into all time and you can see a low a small amount of money that is almost 83.36 dollars which i already made and uh, it's been a while that i made that money and you can see i, I got around seven 127 clicks which is almost which in, in which i got so it is actually within this 2108 impression which is actually the time that my ad shown so i got the money using uh, some of the there are some of the strategies that make your that make your money so if you have if you are from the united states and uh, you have some 7, 727 clicks then you will be getting more than just what i actually got so according to the country changes then uh, it, it, the amount of 
money you will get paid for each click is also changer so that's uh just just a basic of how the ad mob is working so ad mob is actually a part of google adsense so most of the people may know that what is google adsense also and yeah you can also link your ad mob with your firebase account so that you can get the real analytics so all you have to do is when you just sign up into the ad mob you will get yeah something like this this is the home window so this is the home page and uh, all you have to do is to just in order to create a new android app and create a id for um, create a ad unit for that android app all you have to do is click on these apps and from there i already have a lot of application that i just created for the test purpose so what you have to do is click on the add app if you haven't seen this add app over here then it will be probably going to be something like it will be shown over here or something like or maybe here and uh, yeah uh, then it's it's all up to you and uh, if you're new to add mob you will be getting that that window and uh, yeah all you have to do is just click on these apps and click on this add app now it is asking for us if you have just published your app in the previously on google play or the app store so in in our cases most of the people may not have just published the app without the ad mob most in case it is going to be no it's all up to you and now here we, we have to enter the application name it doesn't matter if you just entered it is it in incorrectly it doesn't matter just a, a identification name for you to understand which app got this much amount and something like that what i'm going to do is i'm just creating it as sample that is going to be uh, in in the android studio i have already just created a project with the name add mob ads so i'm using the same thing add mob ads clicking the platform as android and then clicking the ad now yeah it, it, it just created uh, ad mob ads now what we have to do is we have to just click on the next that is going to be creating the ad unit so now you can see we can uh, have four different types of ads one is going to be the banner the second one is industry shell rewarded native so in this tutorial we are going to learn about using the banner ad and the coming tutorial we are going to learn about the industry shell ad so I'm going to select the banner and now what we have to do is we have to simply leave everything as same for the better performance of your ad then you can just give a ad unit name I just want to give it as banner itself and finally I'm just clicking the sale and once I save it you can see here is the ad unit ID which is going to be added inside the Android studio to just bring the ad from this ID so the one thing that you have to keep in mind while you just create a new ad unit is that if you just follow all these steps inside this video and uh, still you don't have the ad visible inside your android app then it's not a kind of your problem it is actually done by the google adsense and this ad mob website so once you what i'm going to say is that once you create a new ad unit then you will have to wait around two to three hours before the ad is going to get displayed and it is going to get active while creating a new ad unit you will have to just wait around three hours before it is going to get active so if you haven't seen ads then you will have to just wait so now i'm going to click on the done so now we have a ad unit creator with the name banner all we have to do is click on that and just copy this ad unit id copy that and now you can exit the browser and now go to the android studio just if you have an existing project then you can also import it so this is my sample project which is a empty activity you can use it in every kind of activities so by the update of android studio we have the new facility that is going to be inside the tools we have the firebase which we are going to use here just click on this and here is the assistant window where you can find a lot of things like analytics cloud messaging authentication real time blah 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 so what i'm going to do is just scroll down and just click on this add mob just open that and inside that we have the area banner add to your app just click on that and now here is the lines that we actually require before adding this add a unit inside our android app so what we have to do is i'm just going to just close this window and just searching for add mob add view yeah add view 
what I'm going to do is just click on that and it will be bringing up this small window where we have to just add the library in order to show the add view so I'm clicking the OK now we have to wait a couple of seconds before it is getting to ready so once that done you will find inside this gradle scripts the module app you will find a new line that is going to be com.google then android gms play service add so while i'm recording this video the version is 11.0.4 maybe if you're watching this video a bit after then you will be finding a different code so just closing that and now what we have to do is just open the assistant back now what we have to do is simply just you can just copy this line i'm just what we say pressing ctrl c on the keyboard or you can also drag this add view into your activity file which is going to be the same thing but using the assistant is much better because you will have a little more codes inside this assistant what i'm going to do is clicking on the text so here we have the relative layout i just changed the constraint layout to this relative layout and i'm pressing the code here now you can see we, we will have to just cast this thing so press on press on this ads then uh, or you can just replace the ad with app okay so now you can see everything is same as what we have seen in many other different kind of uh, widgets layout and many other things here is two new lines that is going to be add size that is banner and the second one is add unit id which is actually extracted as a string resource and uh, we are going to paste the banner id that we just copied from the website so my bad i just deleted that id by just selecting this assistant okay so now i just copied the same id from the website again and i'm going to paste it over here and now if you want you can also extract it as a string resource so i'm pressing alt enter on the keyboard extracting giving the name as add underscore banner now add banner is here and turning the preview on well i'm also going to stretch it into match parent so that's better you can also place this ad at the top and many other places by simply changing the bottom into like something like top now the ad is at the top and uh, it's better to get the ad at the bottom so that the click the chance of click is will be really high so i'm going to use it as bottom so anyway this is my sample activity now what we have to do is simply move to this main activity and uh, again opening the assistant and now what we have to do is we have to just create a we have yeah we have to declare the add view inside this so i'm going to do directly that is going to be add view maybe like okay so i have just added the add view inside this what i'm going to do next is that we have to just add a add a request in order to send the request from the app to the add mobile server in order to get it back so simply just you can also just copy these lines i'm just copying these two lines pasting it here now we have to just add it to by pressing the alt enter then from here you have to select the first one and it automatically added all the lines inside this import library now finally we are almost done with everything so finally what we have to do is we have to add the permission for the app to use the internet connection so that it can load the ad from the internet by just making the connection with the ad mobile server so i'm going to the manifest and opening the android manifest.xml and now what we have to do is here we have to add the use permission so use 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 permission internet so it's better if you add the network access like change access network state so it's better for some reasons maybe in some cases you will be how to just add this line so now we are ready and uh, it's pretty sure that our application will be showing the ad so in my case while showing this tutorial i want to change the ad unit id maybe i'm just going to this values then string we have the id from our website just created right now so probably this is going to be not working perfectly because the id is under construction and it will be only active 
for after a couple of hours so i'm going to replace this id with something the world one that i just created inside the inside my ad mob website so so that i can able to simply show the preview i'll have to tell you is that you will have to wait at least maybe one or two hours but in in some cases it will be just only taking just five or ten minutes it's all up to the server and the traffic inside the server so this is the lines that we require so now let's try this in a real android device okay so we have the android app in the android device and it take a little time to just load the ad for the first time so anyway now we have the ad shown at the bottom so in the next tutorial i will show you that how we can able to add the interstitial ad and also how we can able to just control the ads inside the android app using the main activity itself so yeah if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and as always stay tuned thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video